Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I have a really quick and simple like five minute hair tutorial for you and you may have noticed I have a different hairstyle in like every single video and my hair length changes all the time and that's simply because I use hair extensions. I'm a massive lover of hair extensions. I think it's a great way to change up your hair without like doing anything crazy to it. I'm currently using a brand called Milk and Blush. I've mentioned it in a couple of my videos. I've been using them for quite a while now. I discovered them and I love them because you can like heat them, you can straighten them, you can curl them, and the color match on the website is insanely good. Like you cannot even tell the difference where my hair color starts and where the extensions begin. So I'm just gonna show you really, really quickly how I put them in my hair. So this is my natural hair, this is what it looks like, and I'm just gonna take the Milk and Blush hair extensions and pop them in. It's so easy. I literally just wanted to show you this so you knew what I did. So it comes in a little package like this. I've already opened this, but you literally get a handful of weave like this. As you can see, I did this on the internet so you know their colour matches are like really, really good. Um, pretty much the same colour as my hair. I can't see a difference in it. So I'm just going to pop these in and show you how I do it. So I'm going to start off with the longest one. So I'm just going to section off my hair like so. Like I wear my hair natural quite a lot of the time, like 90% of the time, but I think hair extensions are great for when you want that little bit of extra va va voom. So we're just gonna put this in at the bottom. I'm really, I think I do my hair extensions different to everyone else. I like to put them at the very bottom because my hair's not that thick. It's, I have really, really fine hair and I'd say a medium amount of it. So even though it looks, um, a lot fuller than fine fine hair I still have to have like the extensions at the bottom because I think it's really obvious at the top because it's so the the texture is so fine if that makes sense <laughs> and then the next section I'm just gonna put at the front here see how simple it is like say if you came in from work and you quick, quickly wanted to like go on a night out it's perfect for that my pet hate is hair extension showing so I make the best effort to try and make sure they're all covered. And then I'm just going to do the same on this side. You get loads of these in each pack, but sometimes I I rarely use all of them because the texture of my hair is thin. So if I used all of them, it might look a bit crazy. But depending on how thick your actual hair already is, I think gives you a good estimation of how many you use. I usually use about five, and there's about ten. So I'm just going to... Pop it in on this side. I love seeing the transformation. I feel like I go from like Cinderella before the ball to Cinderella after the ball with both shoes on. As you can see, it's starting to look a lot fuller already. I'm just gonna stick like another one here because it's um because my potting's on this side. I think it needs to be thicker here. So that is literally all I do, but see I've still got loads left over. <laughs> Oh, that looks so... I call my hair extensions Horace, because, <laughs> like, when I take them out and I leave it on the side, everyone's like, oh, there's Horace. It's Horace. Um, Horace the hair extensions. But, see, I have not used all of them, because there's, like, so, so much left over. If you have thick hair, you know you're covered, because there's so much here. But also, if you have thin hair like me, you know you have, like, two sets in one set of hair extensions, so really good value for money. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to back comb over the top of the hair extensions just to make sure that no hair extensions are popping out because there's nothing worse than a flyaway hair extension. If anyone's hair extensions ever come out, like on a night out, I'd love to know. Like touch wood might never have, but that would be so funny. So, so funny. Like doing a good hair swing back and forth and your, your weave ends up on the floor. Touch wood, that's never happened. So yeah, I just do that to make sure like when I move and stuff, there's no no chance of it coming out. And as well, it just adds a bit of extra volume. So these hair extensions, you can actually curl them, you can straighten them, like they can take the heat. And I quite like curling them because I curl them once they're in the hair, so they blend in with your own hair, it's quite nice. But then you can always straighten them again afterwards, so it's really handy. Let me just find my parting. So that is really simply how I do my hair and if you see me with like different lengths and stuff I always use these Milk and Blush hair extensions, they're my go-to at the moment and I love them because you can curl them, they take the heat really really well so sometimes I curl them whilst they're in my hair so my natural hair blends it really really well. The colour matching on that site is amazing and they also have like ombres and ponytails and stuff so it's definitely worth checking out. I find as well there's like a really natural finish to them, they float in a very natural way which just works perfectly with your hair rather than some hair extensions sometimes have like a mind of their own I think. But um, these blend really really well. You can see just how much like 
the quality and like how much it feels and looks like natural hair. I just thought I'd do a five minute like quick tips video because a few of you were asking about my hair extensions. So yeah, I'll leave it linked down below so you can go check it out if you're interested. I think I have a discount code as well for you guys. So I'll pop that in there too. My Instagram, Twitter, it's always at the Laura Blair. So come say hey and I'll see you hopefully in a few more days for another video. Bye. Let's get to know me. I'm not cut out for office line. I could probably switch to lamppost. Here I am, my brows. Hair. Huh. I'll just get that written on my arm. I have high waisted knickers on. Then I went to an all boys school for sixth form, which was the best time of year. <laughs> Conquering the world. One stiletto at a time. <laughs> it's gonna be perfect. Never let anyone dump your crazy ideas. I set the cooking room on fire by accident. <laughs> Daunting. I'm an apple. But my eyebrows are fucking good. <laughs> it's probably where I've gone wrong with the definite foot fetish. He keeps asking about my feet. <laughs> it was literally a pain in the ass when I was younger.